Hey everybody, it's Jen from the future and I am sitting here editing this video that you're about to watch. But I'm realizing that the original intro that I did does not match this video at all. Yes, it's a cash stuffing video, but there is a lot more going on than just cash stuffing today. So get your coffee or your wine or maybe that big huge jug of water that you're trying to finish out for today and let's get started. Okay, everybody, we've got $959 to stuff today. Let's start with counting out the cash. We have 100, 200, 300, 354, 455, 556, 20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 910, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 950, 9, 959. Okay, I didn't want to miss the uh, touching of the cash over there. I had a comment. Uh, on one of my latest videos that I thought was so cute. Somebody said, oh, you forgot to touch the money and they apparently love that part. So I definitely made sure that I touched the money <laughs> in today's video. Sometimes you guys' comments are just too cute. I have not been answering them as quickly as I have in the past. They have just gotten, honestly, you guys, I love you guys so much. They have gotten out of control and I want you to know that I do read every single one and the reason that I haven't responded to them is because I actually like to respond to them. I don't just want to like or heart them because then they do go away, like out of my comment section. So they're kind of just sitting there, but I have read every single one. You guys are amazing. And I have no idea where to start this video because so much stuff is going on. Let me think about this for a second because it needs to flow, right? This video, <laughs> this video has to flow and make sense. I think let's start with no spend days and get this one out of the way because I don't actually use this money to pay up. I use my savings challenge money. So let's put this to the side and let's talk about no spend days. Okay. So the last time I checked in with you guys was October 4th. And since then, okay, I got to get my green and red markers. And we always start with the red. Let's see what I spent this week. I spent on 10, 10 and on 10, 5. Okay, I zoomed in so you could actually see the month of October and what we're working with. So on the 10th, the spend was a ticket to go see my sister. And as much as I did not want to spend any money in October, I was not passing up the opportunity to go see my sissy. And then on the 5th, what I bought was a shoe rack. And maybe I could have waited for the shoe rack, but I think I'm going to let you guys be the judge. Okay, you guys. <laughs> As you can see, my shoes are starting to make their way out of my closet. Uh, yeah, I, there's some back there too. Like, I just couldn't even deal with this anymore. I think I needed a shoe rack, so I think that purchase was justified. What do you think? And let's not forget my slippers over here by the door. And my Uhtred walking shoes over here by the front door. Oh, somebody heard me say Uhtred and walk, didn't you? <laughs> did you hear mama say the two favorite words? I know you did. I know. Let me finish this and then we'll go for a walk, okay? He's a good boy. Yes, he is. He's a good baby. Yeah, say bye, bubbies. Bye. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about the days that I spent. I'm okay with that. And I've got the rest of the month to not spend so let's see how many no spend days I've had since the last time we spoke. One, two, 
three, four, five. And today is the 12th and I am not going anywhere. So that means I have six no spend days and I pay $5 for each day that I do not spend. Six times five is 30. Let's go ahead and use up some of these tens. Now, if you do not know about our savings challenges videos, they are every Sunday. They are super fun, you guys. You definitely want to check those out. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click over here in the corner and then hit your notification bell so you don't forget about Sunday. We do it every Sunday. Okay, so we've got $30 going into my no spend envelope. And we are now up to one, two, three, 350, 370, 390, 420. <laughs> 420. I get that number a lot, you guys. That's crazy. Okay, so $420 in my no spend envelope. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the unbelievably off the chart exciting news. I posted a video two days ago. It was a on the fly video and I had you guys follow along with me while I completed Dave Ramsey's baby step number two. Yes, you guys, I paid off all of my debt using Dave Ramsey's debt snowball method. It's all gone? All of it. It's gone. We have zero uh, debt <laughs> and I could not be any more excited than I am. Jason and I, Jason and I keep um, randomly out of nowhere looking at each other and going, hey, and then the other one will go, what? We have no debt. It's gotten to the point where it's just, I mean, we can't believe it, you guys. It is the most amazing feeling to know that, as Dave says, you are no longer a slave to the lender. <sighs> we do not owe anyone anything, and it is an amazing feeling. So my budget binder. Let's get into this and see what we are going to do. I had another one of you comment that I needed to check off step number two. So we're going to do that together. Cha-ching. Yes. Step number two completed. And we will come back to this. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is go into my debt watch sheet and this is where I have all of the debt listed out and let's zoom in a little bit more so you can see all of this. This has all been paid or some of the items were sold. And down here are the two 0% interest credit cards that I had that were still open, that I was still making payments on, that I was lying to myself and telling myself that this wasn't real debt because it was 0% interest. Lies! Mm -mm, Jen, we are paid and paid. Both of these were done on 10, 10 of 23. <sighs> I still... I still can't believe it. I'm just looking at this sheet. You guys, these were payments that we were making every single month. All of these payments are back in our pocket. And this is what Dave Ramsey is talking about. If you are on this journey with me, and I think most of you are, right? I mean, that's why we're watching cash stuffing videos. That's why we're watching budgeting videos because we are doing this to ourselves. We have gotten ourselves into so much debt that we are stressed out and we are looking for a proven way that has worked for so many other people to work for us. And I just wanna tell you guys really quick before I go on with the video that this is possible. If you're a little newer to the channel, you might not know the background with Jason and myself, my husband. We moved from our home in Florida went across country for a new job opportunity. And these up here at the top were paid off before the new job. All of these were paid off after the new job. 
And the reason that I'm mentioning that is I think a lot of people do not like change. Sure. Yeah, nobody wants that. They want to stay in the same job. They want to live in the same community, but they want change in their life. And it doesn't, that doesn't really add up in my mind. I don't know. I feel like if you really want to change your life and you're really looking, I'm not saying you have to move out of your house or out of your community. I'm not saying that, but maybe get another job. Do what now? <gasps> Give yourself the credit that you deserve. I think a lot of times we work for the same company or we do the same type of job. I'm guilty of it. I was a waitress, a server for over 10 years and I got stuck in the mindset that that's all I could do. And while the pay was good sometimes, sometimes it wasn't and it was inconsistent and it held me back. It really did, you guys. I wasn't really getting ahead in that position. Once I finally realized within myself that I could, I was capable of doing something else, I did it and it changed my life. And it took a lot of adjustment on my end. I had a small child at the time. She was three years old. I had to do so many things to make that, that new job work for me, but I did it. And it enabled me to purchase my first home on my own. It enabled me to do so many things, you guys. So I guess I just wanna throw out there into the universe <laughs> that if you're looking at a debt sheet like I was, do not get discouraged. Do not think that this is your life forever. It does not have to be. You will have to make temporary changes. You will have to make temporary sacrifices. There's no doubt about it, but the key word, temporary, it's okay. So you can do it. I did it. I am just beyond elated about this. I, I, and I want every single one of you to feel this. Every single one of you watching deserves the inner peace that comes with being debt free and you're gonna do it. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> I've had so many of you comment, you've got four months, you've got a year, you know the exact date that you're gonna be debt free and I love it, you guys, keep it going. Okay, so I'm not gonna tear this out. I know you, <laughs> you guys, I like to tear the sheets out when I'm done paying them, but this I'm gonna keep in here as a reminder because I've made that mistake as well. If you look here, I have a Wells Fargo loan. Let me, let me show you this because <sighs> I've made some mistakes along the way. Up here, we had a Wells Fargo loan for $45,000 and what do you think that loan was for? This? this, all these credit cards. And what did we do? We paid them off with that $45,000 loan. And then what did we do? We racked them right back up. And if you look down here, what do you see? Another Wells Fargo loan <laughs> for $40,000. We did it again. Okay. So no one is perfect. You're going to have bumps. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to have changes. You're going to revamp things. Oh my gosh. I'm doing revamping again today with budgeting and money, it never ends. You're gonna have to change. Don't think that your plan that you have is gonna be the exact plan that you're gonna follow, cause it's not. And be ready for it. It's okay, you guys, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show you that. And that means that this sheet is staying in this budget binder in the front as a reminder to myself to never, ever, ever need a debt watch sheet again, where I'm gonna list all my freaking debt, and I'm never gonna need another debt tracker. Praise the Lord. Okay, so let's see what else we've got going on in this binder. As you can see, my budget sheet is a mess. I've got scribbles everywhere. Jason and I need to go over this together. His paycheck just went through last night. I did do the cash planning. So this is ready to roll for today's video. Okay, we're finally gonna get into the cash stuffing part of the video, but we are gonna come back to our trusty Dave Ramsey baby step sheet because numbers three and four are obviously next for me and the binders will show you what my next steps are as we go through. So let's get those binders back out. Okay, I got my binders back out, and I'm pretty sure that this will officially be uh, Jen's longest cash stuffing video ever. 
you think? And I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, because I have a lot to tell you. A lot of stuff is going on. And I think it's important that you know what I'm doing for all of this to make sense, right? For you to follow along with the channel, but more importantly, for you to know what to do with your cash stuffing. I'm hoping that all of my bumps and all of my changes help you in getting through yours. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with... I should have pulled this out. I need this cash planning sheet. And if you're new to the channel and you don't have a cash planning sheet, I've got this for you. It's listed down below in the description. Just click and print yours out. All right, so I'm gonna put the date, which is 10, 12 through 10, 18, 23. And I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go in order and start with the white binder. Okay, and right off the bat, <laughs> I didn't even realize it, but I'm going to start showing you guys some of my changes that I was just talking about. Okay, so with all of my bills, including rent, water, you know, all these ones that I have been using prop money for, I have decided that I'm going to fully fund these with cash so that I will officially be a month ahead. I wanna do this because I think that when someone is new to cash stuffing, they have a real problem with how do I get started? How in the world do you get this to work, right? If you're taking cash out of your checking account and you're putting it in these envelopes, I'm sure a lot of you are afraid that something's gonna bounce, that you're gonna forget something and it's gonna cause mayhem in your checking account, which honestly, it could. So I feel like this is a really good method and a safe method to get started with cash stuffing if you are very unsure of what you're doing. So I'm gonna do it with you guys. And what I did was each envelope, at the very top, I circled the exact amount that needs to be one month of each bill. Super easy, right? So if you're new and you wanna start doing this, start there, get your envelopes, and they don't have to be these kind of envelopes. I've said this many, many times. They can just be these envelopes from the Dollar Tree, and I know they still have them because I was just there and I saw them there. This exact same box is still at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, and you would just write rent, water, electric. <laughs> and I know you get it, right? You see the pattern here. You just write them all down, and then over here in the corner, let's use my electric as an example. I'm in California, will be, and our electric the last couple months has been $500 a month. And I know that is high because of the hot summer, the air conditioning, blah, blah, blah. That is high. But what I want to do is to be on the safe side, I want to go with this high number. So you can do however you want. So anyway, <laughs> I regress. Down here in the corner, write the amount and start putting away whatever you can each week that is extra. Obviously continue to pay your bills like you normally do. Pick one of the envelopes to start with. I would start with your smallest and work your way up. Typical snowball method, right? It keeps our brains happy. So like my water is only $55 a month and that is very consistent. So I would start with something small like my water bill and do things that you don't normally do to make this extra money. And here on Two Sister Bees, we do something called a personal mini challenge. Every week or every couple weeks, I give you guys a new little chore to do that helps you make extra money. So if you're new, stick around for that because I will have the personal mini challenge for this week. And this is one that I really, really needed and I'm very excited to do. So anyway, let's move on from this. But if you wanna start cash stuffing and you're scared to death <laughs> that you're gonna screw it up, stick with me on this month ahead journey that I'm starting. And you guys also get to see me take out this envelope, which has been my credit and debt envelope. This one has been in here because anytime I finish a savings challenge, that money has been going in here to pay my last two credit cards. 
but that is no longer what's going on around here. Now I get to pay myself. Now we're gonna take my month ahead and we're gonna put this right in the front because I like having the goal right up front. And what I'm gonna do is any extra money that I get, any savings challenge that I complete, you guessed it, is going right into this. Okay, so uh, home sweet home, water and electric. I will start with these next week. I wasn't really prepared to stuff these this week because I actually just made this decision last night. So we're gonna skip these for now, but let's move on to the ones that I am ready for so you guys can see. Pest control is $75 a month. I currently have $48 in here, which means I need 27 more dollars. 27 and now I have 20 40 60 65 70 1 2 3 4 5 yes I have the 75 for the pest control so I'm gonna leave this in here we are not gonna touch this money under any circumstances right you guys because the goal here is to get a month ahead we don't care about our friends going out to dinner we don't care about our sister wants us to go shopping with them we're not gonna do it or we can go just don't spend any money drink water and <laughs> don't buy anything right because your goal is to be a month ahead so I made myself some little fully funded cards and we are gonna put this right in the front so I know that the pest control is fully funded. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on today's date. I deposited the $25 and I'm now up to the 75. And we are gonna do that with every single one of my bills in these binders. Once I have them all done, that money will go into my checking account and then cash stuffing will be safe. Yes, that's what we want. We do not want bounced checks. That is the worst possible thing that could happen. I know. Okay, so my waste management is $62, and I actually already have $62 in this one. So this one is also fully funded. Yippee. And Wi-Fi needs $22 which I do have. As you can see, I'm starting with these lower amounts, right? 22 bucks. Because you know what? It gets you excited to keep going. Okay, so Wi-Fi has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, $60. And we're going to put the cash in there. And we're going to put our little card in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm already excited. <laughs> this is very, very good. I like this. Okay. And Verizon actually already has, and I knew this, and this is kind of what gave me the idea to do this, was I was getting my cash stuffing ready and I saw that I already had the exact amount that a bill is. And I was like, this is a really good idea for the ones that are scared. And I know a lot of you are scared. So here is the 249, that is a Verizon bill each month. And we're just gonna put that back and give that one a fully funded card as well. I hope you guys are loving this as much as I am. Okay, so we're going to move on to the blue binder. This is another bill binder. Ooh, you get to do this with me too. This paid. This paid. Love it. No more debt. Yay. Okay. Life insurance. Life insurance needs 165 to be fully funded for one month of a payment. I have 43 in there, so I need 122 total, but this week I have budgeted 43. 20, 40, one, two, three to go towards that amount. So this one is not fully funded, but I'm $43 closer to that happening. So now life insurance has 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 86 dollars. And next is water delivery. This one 
needs 150 and that's a guess that's an estimate it seems like i'm in the one to 130 something like that range plus i tip the guy because he comes up my ridiculous driveway so 150 is a little over but i would rather be over than under so i have 96 in there currently and today i have budgeted 20. so let's see what we've got in here Fifty, seventy, ninety, one hundred, ten, fifteen, sixteen, one sixteen. So yeah, if you're new or you haven't downloaded that cash planning yet, this do this. Get your cash planning sheet and write down all of your bills, everything that you buy. I mean, I have on here money that my husband gets each week. I have my groceries on here. Go through your bank statement online and see what you've paid for the last 30 days. Write them all down. Write down the amounts and get planning. And it's going to take time. Trust me, this is not going to happen overnight. Storage in Port St. Lucie needs a $100 in there. And I have $25. So I am putting another $25 in today. $50. Bucks, halfway. IRA funding. This is another one that next week I'm just going to start putting some money in there. I still have not talked to the finance guy, but I decided yesterday, I'm like, I don't know why I haven't been putting money in there. Just because I haven't talked to him doesn't mean I can't put money in my envelope. So I don't know what I was thinking, but we'll start next week. $88 for my subscriptions. Adding 22. And you know what that means. That means we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 88. Yes, fully funded. This means no touchy, no touchy this money. <laughs> and that one is done. I love it. I absolutely love doing this. Okay, my seed. This is my probiotic. I heard somebody say the other day, uh, about paying for your health, would you rather pay the farmer? I mean, this isn't the farmer, but same same idea. Would you rather pay the farmer now so that you don't have to pay the doctor later? And I definitely have that mindset about this probiotic. It is a little pricey, but I think it is well worth it. I've been taking it now for, I want to say at least a couple months, maybe longer, maybe three months. And I notice a huge difference. So this is money well spent. 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 42. 42, and I need 60. So pretty sure next week I will be able to fully fund this one. Okay, the next one is Winona. This one needs 224. I currently have 116. I've got $36 budgeted out today. 36. And we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 30, 40, 45, 50, 50, 152, 152. Got a little ways to go on this one, but not much. Okay, so let's get into the palm tree binder. And you guys might notice I redid the envelopes. I wanted them all to be a little more cohesive and match because I had all kind of crazy stuff going on in here. Look at Uhtred, so cute. He is so cute, you guys. All right, so husband, if you're not sure what this is, these are power lines, and that is because my husband is a lineman. And husband gets 50, and this is money that he wants to take with him for his 50th birthday. I just now realized how appropriate the 50s are since it is his 50th birthday coming up in December. He is now up to 150. We are taking a little mini getaway and that will be his spending money. Jolene is our granddaughter, 25. This money goes into a 529 college fund for little Miss Jolene and she is up to 50. I just mailed out her Halloween card yesterday she'll be happy to get that okay back to little uchi he has 172 dollars he does have an appointment coming up in i think a week a week and a half i did text the vet to ask how much this appointment is going to cost because he does need quite a few things at this appointment coming up 
I asked her how much it's going to be so I can be prepared. Right now he's got 172, so I'm going to skip him this week since I don't know the number, and next week we will get back to stuffing Uchi. Okay, so my bougie envelope, this is my hair, nails, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to give myself $70, 70, and I think that's all I have. Yes, it is empty in there. Big Give is getting 20. Let's see what we're up to in here. 45. Okay, fun, fun. Everybody's favorite groceries. Oh, you guys, this is my nemesis envelope. Okay, so this is what I've got going on right now. <laughs> of course, I need the calculator for my grocery envelope. This one is a killer. Okay, so last week I deposited the 150. And I also said that I was going to start subtracting. Uhtred's food, eats people foods, and I was going to also start sub subtracting my wine <laughs> because we're not eating this. This is a groceries <laughs> and I wanted to separate it. I really want to see how much we're spending on food, right? Okay, so here's the 150. I did take my last receipt and I subtracted those things. And that leaves me with $44. I'm not gonna worry about the change. And I also am going to be putting in another 150 for this week. I wonder if I can make change. So let's take 44. Um, let's do these tens again. I have so many tens in here for some reason. 44, and I'm gonna take this, put this in my savings challenge money, what the heck, right? Let's put this away. Okay, so I'm going to add the 150 for today. So we're up to 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. 194 currently in groceries. That's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I'm doing this. I have been doing a pantry challenge, to be perfectly honest. I have been doing a pantry challenge. I have not been spending a lot at the store I did spend this 105, but that has been it. So I'm happy about that. And we're gonna come back to groceries. Wine, okay, so I make this envelope, right? And I'm thinking, great, I'm gonna separate this from the groceries. And I am, but this is what's going on. I have decided to start intermittent fasting. I am always doing something, right? I can't help myself. So that's what I've decided to start doing. And uh, yesterday was day one, today's day two. I'm not going to eat until noon. Uh, my window, they call it, is from noon to six is what I've chosen. And black coffee does not break your fast. If you put sugar or sweetener, any kind of creamer in there, it's considered breaking your fast. But black coffee is okay to drink. So yesterday, I made the coffee and I literally let it sit there. And I'm not exaggerating for about two hours because I was not excited <laughs> to drink black coffee. I was like, ooh. I finally go over and pour a cup and I take my first sip and um, guess what? I was yesterday years old when I realized I like black coffee. In fact, I love black coffee. I actually like it better than creamer, sweetener, sugar. I, I, I don't know, you guys. This is what I mean about change, right? Just be willing to change. <laughs> we, we get stuck, right? I was so stuck. I thought I had to have creamer. I don't. I actually love black coffee. Who knew? So anyway, that's over there. So that means I will not be buying or drinking wine for a while. And that is going to give me some time to build up this envelope. I did not budget for it this week because I just made this envelope. But next week we will start stuffing the wine envelope. And takeout is another one. I I think I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing just a little bit of extra cash in here because Jason has been having off on um, Sundays lately a couple times and he does like to door dash. So it is what it is and I'd like to be prepared for it. So I'm gonna start putting some money in that one next week as well. Okay, I just went over my notes and I feel like I'm still forgetting to tell you guys stuff. I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go, right? So next is my green binder. And we're gonna start with my car tag, and that gets eight. 
eight dollars up to 100, 200, 220, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 234 in my tag. Yes, my tag is ridiculously expensive. As I said, I am in the beautiful state of California. No, I do, I do like California. It's very nice here, uh, but it is, it's expensive. Uh, the goal is 400. Gosh, 400 dollars. Car insurance is getting 22, 22. And this one is up to, oh, great. I just broke my envelope. Jason will fix it. He knows how to fix these. I do not. Insurance has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 20, 41, two. 742. And this gets paid annually as well. Okay, so my vehicle upkeep. I have been putting 50 in this. I've decided to up it to 100. I was watching another cash stuffer the other day and she had a nice chunk in her vehicle maintenance. And it made me think like, Jen, you really need to up your vehicle maintenance because um, I think what maybe is going on with me is I am so used to having a car that is under some sort of warranty. Well, this one is not. I bought uh, for the first time an older car Saving that money, you guys. I bought a 2018 uh, that had, I think, 20, 22,000 mile on it or something like that when I bought it. And I think it is has some sort of warranty, but not what I'm used to. So I really need to start beefing up this envelope. I currently have 550 because uh, car repairs, I'm sure we all know, they will get you. Okay, so getaways. This one is getting 50, 100. And medical. This one is getting its typical 100, but as of next week, I will be upping this one as well. You guys, this is what I'm saying about being debt free. It is so nice to be able to up other things that are more important, like my medical envelope and my car envelope. I mean, oh my gosh, finally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars because I do need this to have twenty four hundred dollars by January 1st. And I'm way behind because I did use this. I had it up to thirteen hundred, but I had a little medical scare um, back in July. So I had a nice emergency room bill that I had to pay out of this envelope. So I need to get this juiced back up. Okay, these are a little more of the fun envelopes. Emergent B gets 50. And what I'm going to do is something else I wanted to tell you guys. Let me find it. Where's Dave? Dave, where did you go? Oh, here he is. Okay. <laughs> we need Dave. <laughs> okay, so I am working on step three and four now, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I, okay, so step three, let's, <laughs> let's backtrack. I don't even know how to get this all out. I just want to make sure that I'm making sense. Okay, so step three, and you got to remember that I'm totally amped up on my black coffee in case you notice a difference. I do. I hear it in myself. I am totally zooming from this black coffee. Okay, back to Dave. Three to six months expenses and savings. Guess what, you guys? When I said that I was hoarding money, and not paying those two debts, uh, I was hoarding some money. So um, we have three months of expenses in savings, but we want to have six months of our expenses in savings. So we still need $13,823 to do that. I just did the math while I was <laughs> off camera for a second, just so you guys know, like, how did she just randomly come up with that number? Okay, so what I'm going to do is anything that I put into my Emergent B, let's add this 50 and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's move that. Emergent B trackers are $1,000 total. Once you complete one of these, that's how much you have. So every time I complete one of these, that money is going to go towards the six months. Let's see how much I've got so far. One, two, three, three, fifty, three, seventy, three, ninety, three, ninety-five, 390, 395, 6, 7. So I've got 397. So that's one way I'm going to fully fund my savings. 
And the other way is step four. Here he has invest 15% of your income into Roth IRAs and pre-tax retirement plans. What I'm going to do is 10% will be going into investing. The other 5% of our income is going to go towards this. Once that's completed and I've got the full six months, then the full 15% will start going into those plans. Okay, birthday wishes. This one saw a little bit of action this week. I have $107 in here. $107. And I was going to add $25 today. $25. So let's add that. I spent $70. And that was on Sydney, which is my daughter's girlfriend. She is also a Libra. October birthday for her as well. So 107 minus 70 leaves me with 37. And then I deposited 25 plus 25. So I should have 62. Okay, and we're going to go back to my savings challenge money. There's the 62. I'm going to take this back and put the 62 in our birthday envelope. And I think I'm safe now with birthdays until December. Okay, bucks for boxes. This is Christmas money. It gets 50. Let's color in two $20 boxes and a $10 box. And speaking of Amazon, you guys, real quick before I move on, I am uh, this close to dumping Amazon Prime. I definitely find myself using Amazon to buy things that I don't need. And it is just a little too convenient, as we all know. So I really do think that... Um, the Prime is going to be canceled, and I will just wait until I have $35 worth of items to get the free shipping from Amazon. And I'm also hoping that doing that will keep me from buying everything in general because it makes me think about it, right? It gives me time to ask myself, do I really need that item? Ugh. Amazon. <laughs> okay. We love to hate Amazon, right? Uh, Bucks for Boxes has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 750. Trim the tree. I love this one. This one is for donations. I'm going to put $30 in there. And last week I had mentioned to you guys that I decided to make each symbol worth 20. So I'm going to color one and a half today. Okay, so Trim the Tree has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 6, 7, 8, 78 dollars. All done with Trim the Tree. If you're new and you've never seen any of these cute little trackers I have, these are all made by the other half of Two Sister Bees. That is my sissy April. And you can look in the description below and there is a link to purchase everything from the Etsy store. Okay, two things. The personal money challenge, yes, that is one that I want to show you guys. But here is the other. This is my wallet, I guess you could say. And I have to show you guys this. This is like a little ridiculous, right? I mean, uh, this is just crazy. I would say that it is time for me to figure out, and this is something I've been avoiding. I tried one of those... Um, Mo Mo the Moterm wallets? I don't know. I think that's what they're called. I tried one of those a while ago and I didn't really care for it, right? In fact, I gave it away. <laughs> but I, after seeing this in my wallet recently, I was like, Jen, come on, you've got to do something a little better than this. So what I did was I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six different cash envelope wallets from Amazon. I'm going to do a little video for you guys. We're going to open all of those and I'm going to pick one by the end of the video. But since I was having such a hard time picking one and knowing which one would actually work for me or what I would like, I don't know. I had no idea. 
I thought maybe a video like that could help some of you too because carrying around a wallet every day in your purse, it better be perfect, right? And this is not perfect. Okay, so the last thing I wanna tell you guys, and this is definitely the longest video I have ever done. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> okay, personal mini challenge. I'm doing a separate video. It is all about grocery hacks, how to save on the groceries, because you guys, I keep telling Jason, I am over going into the grocery store and leaving with one bag that cost me $150. I can't do it anymore. I just cannot. So this is for everybody. I'm doing the research. I have been watching videos. I have been reading articles. I am ready. I just need to film it. I will probably do that tomorrow. So if you are not subscribed, you're going to miss a lot of stuff coming up. Hit the subscribe button. It's right there. Do the personal mini challenges with us. Get a month ahead on your bills and start cash stuffing with us. Watch the savings challenge videos because... Two Sister Bees does an interactive game. It's different every Sunday. We do it together. It is so much fun. So if you are not part of our hive, I feel like you're missing out. So go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and keep watching Two Sister Bees.